Hello and welcome to Glass Tires Top 5, where we count down the top five art exhibitions in Texas. My name is Christopher Blay, and I am here with... Mark Bradford. Mark Bradford, the uh, USA representative to the Venice Biennale in 2017, the MacArthur Prize winner uh -huh. uh, last year, and also a Medal of Arts winner, in, back in 2014. We are honored to have you here, Mark, as we count down the top five shows. Well, thank Texas. you for having me. And we are sitting right now in one of the galleries of your exhibition titled Mark Bradford and Papers. Mm -hmm. And we'll come to that later because we want you to talk a little bit about it. Number five on the list is Rising Eyes of Texas 2020 at the Rockport Art Center, Rockport, Texas. Yeah, Rockport, Texas is there uh, near Corpus Christi in the Gulf. Um, they've been doing this for about 13 years. And these are undergrad and grads? Yes. Mm. Uh, the top three winners uh, get to share $1,000, which can go a long way for materials. Absolutely. So it's nothing to uh, look down at. Um, oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good for undergrad and grad. I don't think we ever showed anything professionally. I years did, ago. but I don't think I ever got any money, money for it. You just showed. <laughs> no, you just showed it. Number four is Lisa E. Harris, Cry of the Third Eye at the Smith Neighborhood Library in Houston. The show is co-presented by Aurora Picture Show. Uh, this is three short films that Harris has created over uh, the past decade. There is uh, Cry of the Third Eye from 2011, uh, The Children of the Lost in 2015, and The Last Resort uh, from last year. It's going to be one night only, March 5th, tonight. She will also be doing some spoken word and uh, playing a theremin. Have you ever seen it? I was going to say, what, I don't even know what it is. Oh, it sounds like a fish. It's that dope ass uh, thing where you just like move your hands and it makes music with oh, the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, the, I didn't mechanic. know the name of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay, well, number three is the 2019 Tito Prize winner, Bethlehem McConnan, solo prize exhibition, Rock Standard Time, opening Friday at the Big Medium in Austin. Yes, Big Medium is a nonprofit art organization in Austin, and they do a lot of things. They do the East Austin Studio Tour, now the West Austin Studio Tour. Um, they do the uh, Texas Biennial, oh, okay. which is coming up this year. They have partnered with Tito's Vodka to present a significant $15,000 prize. I think it's the third year uh, happening. And uh, it also comes with a solo exhibition. So Bethlehem McConnell's exhibition is tied to her winning of the, prize, the Tito yeah. Prize uh, late last year. That's excellent. I want to read you a little bit of what uh, Bethlehem has said about her work. Um, she says uh, here, Rock Standard Time is an invitation to reset our current climate of temporal anxiety, feeling exiled from time rather than being in and of it. Seems everyone is continually chasing after it and never catching up. I know that feeling. Amen. <laughs> Which brings us to the number two show, where we are currently, and it is... Oh, Mark Bradford in Papers. <laughs> well, this is a, um, a collection of my early works, the kind of first material that I started to really think about, how to do abstraction that wasn't hermetic, mm -hmm. wasn't something that was looking inward, but taking materials from the world. And this was probably the first seven years of my career, okay. yeah, seven or eight years, really talking about um, some immig immigration, maybe gender, race, but in a very kind of subtle way. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of layers, and it reminded me, because I went to your talk last night, uh, Tuesday night, and uh, we talk, you talked about... Um, spray washing in your more, more recent work and how those hoses reminded you of the hoses used against African Americans in the 60s mm -hmm. and it was just a, a, a strong moment for me because I, 
I notice how unintentionally um, history creeps into art. And, um, but if you're honest about what you're making, how those uh, threads sort of come through it's true. Uh, regardless of your direct intention yeah. or pers you know, direct mark. So yeah. yeah, it's a treat for Texas, for Fort Worth, and we're really happy to have the work here. Thank you. Which brings us to the number one show. It is uh, Slowed and Thode, Records of the City Through Mutated Lenses. And if you don't say Thode, you might not get in the show. It is a show that's based on the work of DJ Screw. Uh, he is, was a Houston DJ, record producer, cultural icon, um, influencing a lot of works as his beats and his music was sort of the backbone beats for people like Lil Flip, Slim Thug, uh, Bun B, ESG, Paul Wall, you name it. All the rappers out of Houston owe a lot to DJ Screw and this exhibition brings together artists who uh, have that sort of uh, what he uh, coined chopped and screwed effect of mashups and uh, collages of sound and just sort of bringing uh, disparate things together and making sense of it. Some of the artists in this show, uh, Tay Butler, Jimmy Castillo, Jamal Cyrus, Ben DeSoto, DJ Screw, Robert Hodge, uh, the list goes on. Um, we'll have a link to the exhibition and the complete list uh, down below. So with that, we wrap up our top five in Texas. Mark, it's been a pleasure uh, doing this with you. What do you have coming up next? Nothing for a while. Wait, I know what you have coming up next. Mm -hmm. You know more than me. <laughs> you were just uh, announced as one of the selected artists for the uh, Prospect 5 New Orleans. Ah, yeah. And, well, that's what uh, I have coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they did announce that, huh? They okay. did announce it. They did uh, announce it. Well, there you go. We have the news on glasstar.com. And okay. thank you so much, Mark. And it's a pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you and so much. go see some art. Yeah. Tell these folks. Go see some art. art. <laughs>